She came in as a stray. We've had her for about two weeks. Obviously, she's, yeah. she's been here for the five days and nobody's claimed her, so she's available for, to rehoming. So I'm delighted that you're taking her here to Sanctuary um, to get her rehomed for us. So she's a wee uh, female. She's, she, her teeth are very, 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 are still, she still has puppy teeth. She's maybe six months to, to eight months old. Um, I'd say she's a collie cross as opposed to a pure collie. Yeah. Um, she's quite, um, a bigger dog, would, she, she, she can't deal with bigger dogs, but to two boys, she gets very, she, she cares away from them. But put her in with yeah. another smaller dog, she'd be delighted. She's, okay she's can't walk with the lead yet, the tail is often between the legs, but she really loves human company, as you can see, okay. she just is, loves human company, which is a nice wee for You have her vaccination or her microchipping yeah, details she's, here? she's microchipped. And her vaccination. And she's vaccinated, she has had her, her initial vaccination, she needs she need a second one now, coming up very soon. Okay. So as soon um, once I get back there, I'll, I'll change all the microchip details over to you, over okay, to the Wicklow SPCA from the from, from the, uh, the Wicklow County Council. We're the Wicklow SPCA, so we're an animal sanctuary, and we don't take in stray dogs because there's, there's be a lot of complications with stray dogs, okay, yeah. with ownership and everything. So all stray dogs go to the dog pound first for five days, and when they're suitable, if they're suitable enough, suitable enough for rehoming the dog pound send them down to us and we take as many as we can. Unfortunately we can't take everything because we don't be full sometimes but we do take as many as we can. With our new isolation unit now going up we can hold maybe 50 to 60 dogs at one time. A lot of them now will be all doubled up. So maybe a litter of pups if they come in they can all go together as well. At the animal sanctuary here we do take in uh, if there is a dog or a cat or anything, a horse or anything, a cruelty case, they'd be in a bad condition, we take them into the sanctuary here. And if anybody on, on their own uh, circumstances they might have to surrender their animal, we do our best to help them out as well in taking their animal. Whereas all stray dogs go to the pound force for their five days. Now we're putting Fly in with her new pal. This is Peanut. Yeah. And both the big bodies. No arguments. Now hopefully we won't it'd be very hard to hold the two of them together to one person, so we'll probably get we'll get home sort of individually, alright, and we'll have them uh they'll be they microchipped, uh vaccinated, warmed and they'll be neutered as well. We put it up on the website, on our website and on Facebook as well. Very good to meet them on another for the first time. Okay, now we had all these six puppies were in foster care. One lady took the six of them for us for a couple of weeks and we will put them up for adoption. They're up for adoption now. We were found by a member of the public on the side of the road in a box, in a cardboard box. We have them vaccinated now and warmed. So hopefully we'll get homes for the six of them. The so. adoption process starts with people come in, choose an animal, fill out a form, a questionnaire, which we hope and encourages them to think about what they're doing. And long term, we're looking for uh, a good, reliable ownership, responsible ownership. They fill out a form. Uh, we pass the form on to one of our volunteers who will go out and check for a secure garden and that the dog's needs are in place. Once the home check is passed, they come back and collect the dog and uh, we give a new training voucher. The dog will be fully vaccinated, microchipped and warmed before he's homed. 
So after that then we try to keep in contact and encourage new ownerships and new owners to come forward and uh, let us know how the progress is going, how they're getting on with the animal and if they have any concerns we'll just uh, call away. We ask for a donation of €170 Euro to cover the costs of the neutering and vaccinations and warming. It, it sounds a lot, but cost alone in some of the vets would be that amount. So it's a non-profit making, it's not uh, extreme cost. An animal has uh, access to water, food and a bit of love and care. You know, you're 99% there. This is Frank. He came into us as a stray with, along with, with Brazum, his sister, whom we go home for. And we do ask a donation of 60 euro for a cat, which includes our two vaccinations plus a voucher to get them neutered. Or if they're an adult, we have them neutered here in the sanctuary. And they were actually very underweight when the two of them came in. So this we called his sister Betty. So with Frank and Betty. We used to do home visits for cats, but we gave it up because we thought a total waste of time, considering cats climb trees and climb walls and everything. So we just asked the people, usually 99.9% .9 of the people who come into us already have a cat or had cats before in their life. So it's very seldom we'd have to do a home visit for a cat at the moment, so which is good. And plus, it speeds up the process of cats going through the sanctuary as well. Having to wait for a home visit takes time. This is Dolores, and Dolores came into us as a stray, and she had a family of five little kittens. So they're only about two weeks old at the moment, or less. And we'll hopefully we'll get home for tomorrow. And she really is an stray because she is just so friendly. So, whether someone threw her out now when she had the kittens or not, I don't know, but we'll get home for them. We have her down for about three or four years of age, but it's harder to tell with a cat what age they are. And she is very, very friendly. We find it very hard to haul a black cat or a black kitten. If we have a black cat or a black kitten and tortoiseshell or ginger or white and tabby or tabby, they will always be picked first. And at the moment we have, I think, about six or seven black and white cats. <laughs> this is a little female. And this is a little male. And as you can see, the mother is very good. She doesn't mind us handling or anything. They get their first vaccination about eight weeks, and then their second one three weeks later. Seriously? Now, they won't be up for adoption till they're eight weeks. <laughs> the puppies would get home they're much quicker than adult dogs. Even though as you've seen yourself going around, probably lovely, some lovely dogs, but people will go for the pups first. Maybe that's because they're easier to train, starting them out as young. But it's hard to know, like if you had the time and effort, you would train an adult dog as well. When people get their um, adopter dog or cat, we have little collars there for the cats as well and collar and need for the dogs that they can buy off us. On our open days now we do uh, sell tea and coffee and that and buns and things which brings in a few extra pounds for the sanctuary. Everything goes towards the animals, whether it's an operation or maybe something. There's a volunteer network which they have to go through them first, which is there's one based if you go into Wicklow uh, volunteer network and uh, Google it and there's one based in Bray. Uh, Arklow and Wicklow. Now the volunteering is mostly, a lot of people want to just dog walk. We have loads of dog walkers at the moment, we don't really need them. Fundraising would be more so we need for collecting maybe in shopping centres and that. And help with open days. <coughs>
Uh, Wicklow SPCA is um, an animal charity and we cater for up to 100 animals at any one time. So what we're doing here now is making an appeal to the public to come up here and instead of buying a, an animal from the side of our road off a breeder, to consider your local rescue. There's lots and lots of unwanted animals looking for that special home, whether it's a dog, a cat, a hamster, a budgie, um, from mixed breed dogs to purebred dogs, there's something for everyone. And we'd appeal to you to come and check out your local rescue first before you go anywhere else, because these really, really need a home.